Hello, it's Mark Matorsch here from Markham 3D, and today in this video, we're gonna be creating this module pipe set. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll apply it to a sci-fi spaceship, and you can just see an example of how we can actually use it. So first off, I'm gonna delete that default cube, Shift A, I'm gonna add in a plane. Now this plane is gonna be our basis. From here, I'm gonna go Shift A, and let's add in a cylinder. I will probably work with 40 vertices, but that's all up to you. From here, I'm gonna go tab into edit mode, rotate X 90 degrees. From here, I'm gonna press S to scale, shift Y, so that it only scales along the X and the Z. And let's find a good size. I'm gonna press one to come to front view, and I'm just gonna place it in a spot. So I'll probably place one here, shift D X, I'm gonna put one in the middle, and then one about there. Okay, so we've got this kind of like off center pipage. Actually, let's just move it over just a little bit more. There we go. From here, what I wanna do is I just wanna delete all these faces, delete faces, and we'll do the other side as well, delete faces. Let's just now press tab to go back into object mode, search with spacebar or F3 or FNF3 if you're on a laptop, and I'm just gonna type shade smooth. There we go, there's our first piece. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift D and duplicate that and press Y and just move it to the side. What we might do now is I might just UV unwrap it just to make our life a little bit easier later on. So I'm just gonna select the bottom lines with Alt, Shift, left click, and then we'll Control E and we'll mark our scene. Now, when we go about extruding these pieces, we're gonna have that scene there. So let's go tab into object mode, Shift D to duplicate, and I'm just gonna hold Control Y and just move it over to the side. So from here, what I wanna do is I'm gonna split this piece in half. Let's go Control B, I'm gonna put in a bevel. And then I'm gonna delete these faces. From here, I'm gonna alt left click the edge there. Let's come to side view. I kind of want this pipe here. I want it to fold down and around and into our bottom here. So what I'm gonna do is hold shift and press right click. Come over here into the spin tool. It's currently sitting on the X axis, on the Z axis, let's press N. Let's go into tools, press X, and then hold control and we'll snap that to 90 degrees. I'm gonna do E to extrude along the Z axis. E to extrude again, and I'm gonna scale, E, Z, and bring that down. And there we go, we now have this pipe that goes in. Let's do it for the same for the other side as well. We could just mirror that across, but I'm just gonna do it manually. And let's go right click there, spin, hold control, E to extrude along the Z axis. And let's go E, scale, E, and there we go. Now we've got two pieces for our modular set. Now you can see that we kind of got some weird shading here because we put that smooth in. So let's make sure we've got our object selected. I'm gonna come over here into the object data. Let's click normals and we'll click auto smooth. Bam, there we go, that's nice and thick. So that means now from here, we can just go to town.
go like that we've got our modular set now let's bring it over now let's bring it over into our spaceship that we've been working over on twitch if you want to see how i'm making on twitch jump over and have a look i live stream every once in a while so this is a sci-fi ship that we've been working on online so let's go file a pen because i actually want to bring off bring over all the mesh let's go to where we saved it now all these files are available on my patreon modular pipe set we're going to the objects let's select all these and a pen from here i'm just going to press g move them over to the side and we're going to scale them up and now we can kind of just place them however we want so for instance i've already had some pipes here and these were from a different modular set that's available on gumroad there is a link on the description for that one so if i just go right rotate let's just shift d and duplicate all them so we can always come back to it Boop. let's go g i'm just going to put that in a nice little place rotate x y 90 degrees rotate y 180 and now we can kind of put it wherever we want it to go just to add even more detail to this ship so if we go like that let's go y gx something like that we can see here these pipes don't finish which is absolutely fine because what i'm actually going to do is i'm just going to fix this one up i'm just going to select this edge shift right click in there let's go to the z spin tool like that let's go e to extrude along the x and there we go now we've got pipes that go into something as well and we'll do the same on this side box select them there click and drag to spin that around let's actually make it maybe a little bit smaller there we go hold control to snap to our degrees e to extrude straight in wham bam thank you ma'am look at all these wonderful little pieces and how much extra detail that has given us now obviously if we want we could grab all these pieces again i believe they're all modular pipes is what we renamed them so let me just quickly grab them all obviously we can change the order but if i really wanted to i can go shift d duplicate it and i can scale it up and then we can put it in another place let's go g to the z like so we can even scale along the y there we go put it into place like that and straight away you can just see how much extra detail we've added with just simple pipes and we can rinse and repeat put these objects however we want them and it'll just look absolutely stunning it doesn't really matter that these pipes are going through other pipes because from obviously afar you won't really notice but what you do notice is all that extra pop of all that extra geometry love. Now, if I can get a thousand likes, I will put this on Gumroad as well as part of my free kit bashing set that's available on there for free. I'll add these pipes to there. And if you can, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content. And it just shows your support to this channel.